big space will cost you 10 drachmas a week. A small space? 10. I'll take a big space. Only got a small space. Um, it's up here. Out of the way, old woman. So, you are finally here, Romina. Daughter of Turok. Daughter of Turok? The evil sorcerer. For I don't rent to practitioners of black magic, I run a clean establishment. The old crumb mistakes me. Well, I am but a simple country girl, only hoping to master some magic in order to help my family out of their poverty. My daddy always said to paint advance with gold. I always had a soft spot for you country folk. Out of the way, old one. This will do perfectly. Expensive taste for a poor country girl. <laughs> I read a lot. Distar Ibar, Gar Ibik. Show me the object. There you are, the object of my desire. Once I get my hands on the obelisk, my powers will be unstoppable. <laughs> There's no one here to thwart us. No one. a keeper for Ruse. Excellent. I call it Rolling Ball and Falling Dragons. So why did this uh, Omar of Basra confiscate the Caliph's property in the first place? There was this terrible war. Before either one of us was born, both the Caliph and Omar were young men. Hot-headed, impetuous. What makes this obelisk thing we're supposed to bring back so special? <laughs> <laughs> Well, legend has it that the obelisk was the most important magical object in Egypt during the reign of Ramses II. It's supposed to give to whoever owns it unlimited power, good luck, the usual mythological stuff. Maeve, you should see the game Firuz invented. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Good book? Huh? Oh, yeah. Dim Dim wrote pages and pages on Basra. It's a haven for magicians. We're going to Basra on official business, Mae. Oh, I know, I know. But, but Dim Dim spent a lot of time there. Listen, he studied with a woman who far exceeds the boundaries of womanhood and reaches into the spheres of the masterful knowledge of the ways of magic. Think of what she could teach me. Think of the tips she could give us on locating Dim Dim. 
We gotta find her. I'll leave that to you. Me? I just want to give Omar his gifts, get the Khalid's obelisk, and go home. Simple. No muss, no fuss. We'll let Simbad take care of the politics, Dermot. You and I, we're gonna find this woman. What harm can it do? If my late father could see me now, dressed like a charlatan, I who was once known as... The, the, savage, the savage Sultan. Sultan. Now look at me. Oh, well, perhaps it was worthwhile to finally make peace with the Caliph of Baghdad. Finally, his emissary will set sail with the obelisk, which has given me nothing but trouble since I came home. When is Sinbad coming back? Uh, you should reach the palace by morning, sire. By morning, sire. Good. Make sure the reception is ready. It's been many years since the war. I can't even remember what it was all about. Never mind. From tomorrow, Basra and Baghdad will begin a new chapter in their joint history. Peace oh. will once again bless us all. <laughs> Things keep getting better and better. <laughs> well, Cicero, let's get some sleep. We have a very busy day ahead of us tomorrow. <laughs> Careful, Dubar, that's important stuff. It's all breakable, I'm sh I assure you. I don't suppose you've invented anything that'll help us carry all this stuff. Good idea. I must address that subject on our next voyage. Hey? Huh? Please be careful on your search. <laughs> Same bad. It's you who should be careful. Politics is more unpredictable than magic. Announcing Sinbad, the sailor from Baghdad and his crew. Oh, savage sultan. I am Sinbad. What is that? Sword? A gift, sire. One to protect you from the rain as well as the harsh rays of the sun. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. May I look? Absolutely. Very practical. Very ingenious. The elderly, those who fear the sun, can travel about without worry, eh? <laughs> okay, come on. Your Highness. Very clever. It's one of a kind, Your Highness. Indeed. The, the Caliph uh, contacted me, Farouz, the scientist, to create all these gifts for a man of your great reputation. Look through here, Your Highness. It magnifies everything you see. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, a device to light your way. Oh, yes, truly amazing. Oh. <laughs> a wind machine. It moves the air within a room, creating a breeze whenever you want. Such excitement! Uh, look, a stargazer. At night, it brings the heavens to you. Oh, how the school children will love this, watching the heavens from close by. You, all of you, have made me very happy this day. Show Sinbad's men every courtesy till we return. Come with me. I'll show you exactly why you've come. Thank you. Thank you. Sinbad, your coming here signifies a new beginning for us all. Wear this medal. While you are here at Basra, it signifies our friendship and your honored status. I'm without words, sir. <laughs> Come, this way. This is where the medallion comes in handy. There it is. The source of all the troubles between our two lands. May I? Mm. It belonged to a high priest, a magician who guarded the oracles of Isis, the Egyptian goddess of magic. It's stunning. It is said to possess great power, not that I've ever found it. Over the last 30 years, hundreds of people have died either trying to steal it or defend it. Poets, rogues, spies, magicians. As a result, no one else is allowed in this room but myself. Yeah, and you. I'm honored. Don't be. 
I'm sometimes sorry I didn't destroy the little devil. Now, however, my heartfelt condolences to your caliph. If he wants it, he can have it. And its reputation. Keep this as safe passage into this room till you sail back to your caliph. My guards will slaughter anyone else who comes in here. What? Oh, harsh, I know, but you'd be surprised how many would-be dictators it keeps out. <laughs> I will use this medallion wisely, Your Highness. Thank you, Sinbad. You've given me a way to get my hands on the obelisk. And once I possess it, I'll have enough power to possess you, my unwilling love. Anyone here? Dermot! Come in, Maeve. How did you know my name? I am Caper Maeve. That's what I do. I know things. I knew Dimdim -dim would send you to me. I know why you are here. His Highness has directed me to provide you with every pleasure possible, Sinbad. Follow me, please. Those dancing lessons have sure paid off. How did you know it was me? Well, when you make eye contact, you really make eye contact. And your choice of jewelry set you apart from the rest of the chorus line. You may pretend to hate me, Sinbad, but I know you really want me. Admit it. You did want to kiss me just now. As much as I'd want to cuddle a snake. That can be arranged in more, you conceited sea dog! Temper, temper, temper. Ah. <laughs> this will look much better with my outfit. Ramina, you'll never get away with this! Ah. Where are you taking me? Simba, ah. so close to my heart. Did you enjoy the ride? Oh. <laughs> He's all mine, sister. Stay away. My crew will find me! They'll turn this city upside down! 
Not if they don't realize you're missing. How would it feel to have a twin brother, dearest? I should thank you, Sinbad. Now I can stroll into the shrine and simply take the obelisk. It'll save a lot of wear and tear on my powers. <clears throat> hmm. That's better. Think of it, Sinbad. Once the obelisk is stolen by you, there will be war once again. I owe that to the Caliph, don't you think? You killed my father. But the Caliph was responsible. It'll never work! My friends will see right through your disguise! Are you afraid I might tarnish your good name? <laughs> what a wonderful idea! I think I'll have a little fun at your expense before I enter the shrine. When I return, maybe you'll see that being nice to Romina could save your life. See you around, short stuff. <laughs> Tim Tim wrote in his books that you have incredible powers. As you do. As Rumina does. Why do you bring up Rumina? Your goal is to destroy her, isn't it? I've never told a soul about that. It's not only Rumina's knowledge of incantations, or her supply of toad spittle, and feathers and knots that make her so powerful. It is her belief in her magic. But I believe in it as well. Do you trust that you're a conduit of its power? Of all its power? I want to. I have to. I want my brother back. Her magic took him away. And I want to find Dim Dim. I miss them both. Will you help me? Only you can undo Ramina's black magic. You must fight it with a stronger strength. I'm trying. But she had Turok as her teacher. He was a very powerful sorcerer. Knowledge will help. But the only thing that will topple those who deal with darkness is a strong heart. Good is more powerful than evil. But its magic is more difficult to learn. What if I'm never good enough? What if my heart isn't that strong? Where's Sinbad? Well, he didn't return last night. He must have got caught up counting the muscle groups on that belly dancer. <laughs> Gentlemen, where's your captain? I'd planned to take you all on a tour of my kingdom before you set sail. Uh, he'll be with us presently, your highness. Uh, he wasn't feeling very well this morning. No. Oh. Not the food, I hope. Nope. It's just I set my own schedule, gentlemen. I decided to stretch my legs outside the palace. See your countryside on my own. <laughs> you made a very shrewd bargain, Omar. Perhaps I should be working for you instead of the Caliph. What? Think of it, big man. You're getting the best out of this deal. I am dealing in good faith, Sinbad. Sure, you fob off a worthless statue that you hate anyway. And the Caliph gives you state-of-the-art inventions. Now that's what I'd call taking advantage of the situation. My... What, what Sinbad means, uh, Your Excellency, is that you have a natural talent for bartering. Not exactly. Actually, sire, it's just that strolling through your city, I long for the sight of a real town. Do you insult my kingdom, sailor? Seems you've beaten me to it. Even a diplomat must keep a civil tongue in his head. Guards! You're just like all men. Going back on your word. You said 
As long as I wear this medal, I can do whatever I want in I Boston. gave you that medal as a sign of friendship. One does not insult one's friends. I never called you a friend. Do you know what I can do to you, boy? Hey, great Omar of Basra. My brother must have a fever. Well, he's never acted this way before. Well, perhaps a stay in a dungeon will cure you all. Guards! <laughs> arrest them all! Yeah! Oh boy, Dubar! <laughs> a little more wrist action, Farouz. <laughs> So long, Omar. I'll pick up your trinket later. Up for a little fresh air? Do I have a choice? Distance, bad form. What the <clears throat> devil has gotten into you? Hey, you'll mess up my hair. You're not gonna have any hair left or I'm finished whomping you. <laughs> Fine, want me. What then? Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Face it, big guy. Without me, you'd all be stuck. I'm the one who does all the thinking in this outfit. I don't know what's happened to your brain, but if I have to, I'm gonna knock some sense into it. See what I mean? All muscle, no mind. Where'd you get that? Does my taste in jewelry upset you? Here they come! Oh, run! This way! Out of my way! Sinbad's running strangely. Perhaps what's inflaming his mind has given him a rash as well. Well, let's discuss the prognosis later. Oh, Sinbad. By the end of this day, I will be your only friend. First, you don't succeed. Even as a little kid, he was never this hard to handle. Where is Simba? Careful, Rangar. We're on a diplomatic mission. Maybe we can still repair the damage to the Omar. Maybe not. Here goes nothing. Oh boy. Hi, honey. I'm home. Over there. Whoa! And how's my little man today? How do you think? It must be nice to stay at home while us menfolk go out and do all the work. And believe me, I accomplished quite a lot today. I don't want to hear about it. Suffice to say, your reputation isn't what it was. And Basra and Baghdad? Very close to all-out war. <laughs> I still have so much to accomplish. Perhaps a luxury bath before I go back to the job at hand.
Great. Quiet. All right, sister. I am had it. Dermot, fly away. Find help. Cicero. <coughs> Mommy is very angry. What's happened here? Dermot, go now. Go find me. Cicero, what has gotten into you? <coughs> I told you he was mine. Now open up. Well, if you didn't eat him, then where did he go? My, my. Now, where could he have gone? You're my prisoner, Sinbad. You can't escape me. Captain has betrayed you. Give him to me. I will never give you my brother. And he's like a brother to me. Your loyalty is misplaced. Sinbad is moving me to war with your caliph. I'll be assuaged only if I have an apology or his head. What should we do with his crewmates? Sire. Go to a ship. Place all on board in irons. As for these three, stretch them. Actually, Your Highness, it's a proven fact that bodies on the rack don't actually stretch. Silence! Make ready my army and my navy. The Caliph of Baghdad will rue the day he sends Sinbad to insult me. I wanted peace! Now I see that peace is no option.
for my bird. He's a hawk. Have you seen him? Hello? Hello, Maeve. Won't you come in? What are you doing here? Oh, it's such a nice room. There are many things about me you don't know. My Celtic dream. He loves to kiss the Blarney Stone. Maeve, don't trust her! It's Romina! Care for some wine? Food? Good company? After all, we don't spend much time together alone. Why would we want to be alone? I should think that's fairly obvious. Come. Sit by me. I'm looking for Dermot. I don't have time for sitting. Perhaps we could spend our time doing something else. I'm leaving. If you see Dermot, tell him I'm looking for him. I know you want me. I've known it from the very beginning. You and me on the open seas. Making magic together. Are you completely crazy? What kind of magic is this? The deadly kind, you pesky peasant witch. Babe! Over here! Here! Sinbad? What has she done to you? Babe, behind you! I think it's time we drain the life force out of her, dearest. And after I'm done with her, <laughs> it's back to the bottle for you. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Even you can't save her now, dearest. Ah, damn it! She will be honest! You all crone! You can't stop me! Perhaps not, but I can slow you down quite a bit. You can't stop me, old woman! The obelisk is mine! You will find me a worthy opponent, witch. You will not trick me as you did my trusting husband, Dim Dim. You won't stop me. This isn't over yet, old woman! Move, you can't see me? No, oh, why isn't anything working? Because Romina's spells are strong. She knows what she's doing. I don't even know why I'm helping you. You haven't even helped me yet. Oh, fine. Say a bug the rest of your life. All right, you two. That's enough. Stop acting like an old married couple. Married to her? Oh, when you're <laughs> such a big catch. While you two argue, Omar is calling up his troops to attack Baghdad. Attack Baghdad? When? As soon as his anger peaks. Maeve? I'm trying. Come on. And your three comrades are chained in Omar's prison. They're to be stretched in the noonday sun. So low. Concentrate, Maeve. So more on a low. Come on, Maeve. I know you can do better than that. No, so more on a low. No, so more on a low. Uh, we have 
have work to do. Yes, work, work. I saw what you did. Thank you. Off with you now. I did nothing. It was all made. I can see why Dimdim was so fond of them both. The old softy. Send some bread. In appreciation of your great vigilance. Mm, is there uh, anything to drink with that? Some uh, wine, perhaps? <laughs> How about a little punch? I think he just made him a knight. <laughs> Bounce better than one. Science. Come on, we have to be quick. Omar's about to attack Baghdad. Yeah, because of you. What? Where's your ring? I don't own one. Your games are getting tiresome. Look, I can explain everything. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. Are you coming or not? Just once. Let me be the brains of this outfit. I say we sail now and warn the Caliph. May you explain everything. I don't have time for a debate. The attack plans are prepared, sire. They're ready, Fine. sire. Fine. You may leave me now. Go. We will await your word to the troops, sire. Shall I tell them you will give the go-ahead when the first shadow shows itself? The first shadow shows itself, sire. Fine. Whatever. Uh, sire! Dare you, Sinbad. I beg your forgiveness. There's been a horrible mistake. Yes, mine, for ever letting you into my home. No, mine, for allowing black magic to better me. Black magic? What are you talking about, man? It was not me who visited you and insulted you today. It was you! The face I see before me now! No! Yes, the face, but not the soul. A sorceress woven enchantment. She's out to steal the obelisk for herself. You expect me to fall for your tricks again? God, take him away! Sire? Yes! How did you get back here? We just saw you going towards the shrine. The shrine? Sorceress. Now at last you will be mine. Arrest that imposter! Yes, Go. arrest that imposter! Don't to steal the obelisk! I'm trying to hide it from that imposter! He lies! He lies! I tell the truth! Oh, well, we, we, we could arrest them both. What? That's the only way of getting to the truth, sire. No. There is another way. Did I ever tell you you're beautiful when you're being phony? That witch! You've only postponed the inevitable. <sighs> Brother, we all owe you an apology. Huh? You act as though you enjoyed that. You're welcome. 
Sinbad, please take this medal once again as a token of our friendship. We have kept our two lands from war. I will wear it proudly and carefully, Your Highness. Remember, me. Read, practice, meditate. But the most important thing you need to remember is that the magic comes from you. Believe in yourself. I'll try. Oh, and one more thing. Yes, Kefra? When you do find my husband, tell him his dinner has grown quite cold. Romina, didn't you? Of course not. It was all in the line of duty. Oh, come on. Why don't you just admit it? I did not. Did too? 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 Did not. Did too?